Hi guys, welcome to March Home Kitchen, where the family-friendly recipes everyone can enjoy. So today's video is for a beef and Guinness puff pastry pie. Sit back, relax and enjoy, and thanks for watching. Now first of all, we take a couple of tablespoons of plain flour, just pop them into a bowl, and then we're going to season that with some black pepper and some salt. Now we're going to give that a quick stir around and then to that we're going to add our diced steak. The steak has been cut into about one inch cubes. Just add it all in, get your hands in there, give it a quick mix around and make sure all the beef is coated in the flour mixture. Now we'll go over to our cooker. We'll take a heavy base saucepan and to that we're going to add some butter. And also then we're going to add some olive oil. This will just stop the butter from burning. Mix that all around, make sure the pan's covered. And then we're going to slowly add our beef. Just take the beef out of the flour, brush the excess flour off and then pop it into the pan. Don't overcrowd your pan because this will stew the beef rather than fry it off. And we want it to go brown. Just cook it for three to four minutes and just flip it over and cook the other side for three to four minutes. So now that our beef is browned on both sides, we're going to add some finely diced onions. Now we'll give those a stir around and just let them cook for three to four minutes until they start to soften. And now we're going to add our Guinness. a bay leaf and some fresh thyme if you don't have fresh thyme dried thyme will do now we'll just stir that around making sure we scrape all the sediment off the bottom of the pan because that's where lots of the flavor is so now we'll pop the lid on and we'll let that cook gently for about 15 minutes so now to that we're going to add some finely sliced mushrooms and some beef stock. Now I've used homemade beef stock, but if not, you can just use a stock cube. Give that a stir around, cover it with a lid, and then we're going to cook it for about another 90 minutes, just until the meat is really tender. As you can see, this is nearly done. So we just take the lid off, raise the heat up to about a medium, and we'll let this just cook for the next 10 minutes while we get our pastry ready. So now, while our casserole is cooking, we're going to get some puff pastry ready. We take a sheet of ready-made puff pastry and we just cut it into six inch squares. Then we take a knife and we cut a four inch square out around the inside of the square. This will give you an edge and a topping for each pie. Now folks, if you're enjoying my video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It does help the channel and it means I can make further videos for you. So now we carefully transfer this to a baking tray that's been lined with greaseproof paper and we'll just brush it with an egg. Now once they're both coated, we're going to go over to a preheated oven, which is 200 degrees centigrade or 180 fan, and we're going to pop the puff pastry in for about 15 minutes. Now as you can see, the puff pastry is risen and golden. Our beef is ready, so it's now time to serve. I've just served mine with some carrots and some broccoli. Put one side of the puff pastry on, fill it with the beef mixture, and then we'll just pop the lid on. Now folks, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. It does help the channel. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my further videos.